Well, it wasn't mine. Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and obscene fractals. I am Speedyard, and this is Just Cause 2. Our friend Tom Sheldon has summoned us here to this location. The chaos has built to a critical level, and now our story can continue. Oh great, the woman without a personality is here too. Well, let's see what the bombastic Texan has for Glad us. Glad to see you two have kissed and made up. Agency has all the dirty details now, buddy. So the heat is off. Right, and we have more pressing matters. Remember Jade Tan? How could I forget? Well, Blaine's ratted her out too. She was lifted by the Panawan Secret Service while researching the presence of international intelligence on Panau. From what we know of this regime, they'll torture her without asking questions. We've got to find her. Fast. Those guys don't hold back on the torture. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this little bird. Sure have missed agency hardware. Rico, buddy, she's all yours. <laughs> oh, you had better believe I'm ready to kill me some bad guy. Come on, Pandak Panay. You. Me. Right here. Right now. Final boss fight. No. Coward. I can assure you, he won't be getting away from us very long. In any case, that's a lot of what games are about. All kinds of stories can fill you with rage at the villain's deeds, and we love to see them get what's coming to them. But only in a game do you have the opportunity to carry out justice There's yourself. Still, sweet. Got the spine of a jellyfish. Go and put the finger on ten. If she ain't just a pretty face, Rico. She got brains. Last contact we had, she was close to learning about Panay's plans and who's causing all this trouble. We need her back. Fast. You don't think she's dead already? Not before they put the screws on her. Now go to the facility where they're keeping Tan. Then cause as much chaos as possible. That should flush him out. Remember, check your PDA if you don't know what to do. It's gonna take us a while to get there, so let's clear things up. When we get in there, I can't be held responsible for my actions. You saw what we're dealing with. Madmen and murderers. Well, they taught me in protagonist school, Anti-Hero 101, what to do when a young woman is being held hostage and threatened with torture. And now, we're gonna see to it that they know why I was top of my class. Okay, here we are. Now go cause as much damage as you possibly can, and squeeze them out. With extreme prejudice, my Texan friend. Cluster bomb launcher. I could have no greater ally in this struggle. Let's do it, my friend. Let us bathe in the blood of our enemies and floss with their intestines. Don't, um, don't get too carried away there, friend. Huh. Well, all we need to do right here is blow up each of these generators, and that'll flush out the bad guy and allow us to recover our ally, Jade Tan. This is a mission you want to come prepared for. It's pretty miserable trying to scavenge weapons off the guards that barely cause a dent in those generators. So if you don't have any good C4 handy, it's a good idea to call in black market support, as I did. I hear the lamentation of their women from afar off, and it pleases me. Hey, civilians are off limits. We're all good guys here, remember that. Indiscriminate destruction is a force for good. Don't ever forget that. If you don't like Sheldon yet, don't worry, he grows on you. To be honest, he's really the most lively character in the game. Rico really doesn't, well, do much, you know, of himself, other than what you're doing for him. Woman without personality is just appalling. Jay Tan is pretty boring. Pandak Panay is interesting, but we'll see more of him later. And of course, Carl is just sad. Okay, it's working. I've intercepted some radio bits and pieces here. They're fixing to abandon base with Jade. Keep doing the destructo, amigo, and we'll get them yet. Enemy located. All units attack on site. Their feeble attempts to run away amuse me. Man, you got issues. 
Another thing to note about this mission is, if you're in the helicopter and you get shot down, you'll have to re-destroy everything you've already blown up. Not that I would know anything about that, since I get everything right the first time. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Quiet, you. Cinematic getaway in five, four, three, two, one. I find my day just isn't complete without the sound of explosions to mark my passage. Doors are open and the party's on, Rico. I want you inside the house by the edge of the cliff. This is it. He tried to run, but now we're going to see to it the Pandak Pene, the malevolent midget, the diminutive dictator, pays for his crimes. Ninjas, ninjas, let me check. Okay, they're on the list. Boy, do I love ninjas. I hate ninjas. Okay, move in, we got him. Somehow I can't help but think this is violating the approved rules of ninja combat. Well, now it's time to face the undersized Untermensch. Pandak Pane, I'm coming for you. Jinga, she's not here. Ah, coward. I will sleep well tonight, Pandak Pene, dreaming of your demise. I guess it's time to see whether that course and battle-ready base jumping pays off. Let's go. This scene was put together well. Chases are always fun, especially in this game. But diving off a cliff and watching as your enemy flies away across a field of ice while a nuclear submarine bombards your position with missiles. It's the sort of characteristically over-the-top thing I love this game for. Take no passenger. Hey, unless you two are bulletproof, I suggest a quick exit. Come on now. Thanks for showing up, guys. You sure saved my, uh, bacon. Yep. Worth every bullet. Thanks to you, we know who's pulling the crime syndicate strings. Right. There are three puppet masters all wanting to play on the Panal stage. The info's all on your PDA, Rico. Jade will give you the brief. Good to hear. First, there's Alexander Miekov, formerly Soviet Secret Service. He's a trained killer with links to every mob working the new Russia. But whether he's rogue or a Moscow stooge, your guess is as good as mine. Oh my goodness. What we do know is that he's in deep with the roaches. Both share a taste in shiny suits and fat jewelry, I bet. Number two is the Chinese sadist Zhang Sun, a former military intelligence chief. Modern China likes to keep guys like Zhang hidden, but available. His Maoist talk of people power and industrial revolution has got the reapers eating out of his greasy palm. Nothing more dangerous than a crackpot ideologist. Except an ex-commie with gangster friends. Though I'm guessing you saved the best to last. Right, mister. This ex-general is certainly no saint. His name is Masao Washio. He was ejected from the Japanese army for torturing his own men. 
Washio's motto is said to be, pain is good, death is better. He is backed by a bunch of neocon industrialists and has hooked up with the tribal Ula boys. They sure must be impressed by this maniac. Man, a gang of worse psychos I never knew. That's for sure. But what has a little island like Panao got to offer them? They want baby Pane off the throne and their marionette in his place. But why? We don't know. There must be some monster prize thereafter. These are serious players. Right. And guess what, Rico? You're gonna smoke them out into the open. And you won't be using no hickory chips. Barbecued pig, anyone? So, what are you gonna do now? What I do best. Cause chaos. To force our eastern bad boys out into the open. Well... Try to take a little care of yourself. There'll be time for that. Maybe you can give me a few ideas. Careful, mister. Very well then. Jade Tan is safe. Our allies have gathered and soon we will be ready to make the first move in bringing down Pandak Pene's corrupt regime. In the meantime, the faction leaders may be getting antsy, but there are still plenty of missions to complete. So I will see you there.